Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ridwan Ibrahim. In this series of episodes, I will be teaching you how you can make a manual RC design of structural elements using the RCC Design Excel spreadsheet. This spreadsheet was designed by Reinforced Concrete Council and then they have designed it to work with two design templates which is the BS8110 and Eurocode 2. You can see it down here. Although there are several softwares for making structural designs, however, if you do not know the technical know-how of how you can achieve the design manually, any design you make with the software will just be a garbage in, garbage out. And that's one essential reason why you need to familiarize yourself with manual design. And then when you want to use manual design, the best approach of doing that is to use a spreadsheet because that will be faster. Okay. And if you want to use a spreadsheet, the best spreadsheet you can use is the RCC um, spreadsheet. You can either use the one of the BS8110 or you use the one of Eurocode. You should keep it in mind that this is just for reinforced concrete. It does not have anything to do with structural steel design. Okay. Another reason why you will need to know how to use the template or you will need to have the template is because of um, for the sake of people who usually um, use a cracked software. Whenever you use a cracked software, you cannot be 100% sure that the results the software will give you will be accurate, okay? So at times, you will see that maybe your column at the bottom story is having lesser reinforcement compared to the one you have at the top, or the axial load for the bottom column is lesser compared to the axial column of the top, of the top columns. So all these, they might be as a result of the cracking of the software. It might happen in any software. But whenever you have a manual design, you know, the result of the manual design will, of course, be perfect. So you can always do a, you know, check and balance. So when you have your result from the software, you can easily bring the data and try to, you know, confirm your result using the manual approach. And then that is using the software, uh, using the spreadsheet. Sorry. So let me just take you through what the RCC template is. This is just the introduction class. This is the episode one. We will begin fully in the episode two. So this is the um, first sheet. I will just go to another sheet where I have the BS8110. So this is for BS8110. If you click on the Eurocode, it is still the same interface that is there. The only thing is just that the design that is inside the template are different in terms of the template, okay? So just the rule of the template, but it is still the same. So whichever one you have, whether you have the BS8110 version or you have the Eurocode version, you can always make your design depending on the code your country has permitted you to use, okay? So let's see. Now, this um, spreadsheet has 10 divisions. The first division is the element where you can design your structural elements like slab, beams, column, and everything, okay? So you can see this is the element part. Also, you can carry out analysis, okay? Analysis of frame. That's frame analysis. You can also, you know, make your design for slab. That includes the one-way slab, analysis and design. A and D simply means analysis and design. You can also do the same thing for the rib slab and for flat slab. You should keep it in mind that one-way slab here that we have here is basically a... A solid slab so you can use it for solid slab rib slab or flat slab all right and then the beams analysis and design of beam post tension beams and then wide beams also for the column so you can do the same for the column also for walls you can do your design for walls also for stair you have the straight fly stair and then you know having everything like that also for foundation you can see you have your pad foundation also, we have a tabular version, okay? So, under this tabular version, you see that almost everything we can do under the tabular version, we can do it on the normal actual version. For example, the one-way solid slab, you can see that I have a one-way solid slab here, okay? But here is a tabular version, whereas this is not a tabular version. So, either use the tabular version or you use the actual version, you still get the same answer, okay? The rib slab, you see, you also have rib slab, flat slab, you have flat slab, you have two-way slabs, you have continuous beams, you understand? They also have the rigorous versions. So if you come to the Euro code, you see it's still the same thing. You have 10 divisions as well. Element, analysis, slab, beams, columns, and then walls, their foundation, tabular version, and rigorous version. So it's still the same thing. And then you see that for all of this design, you can see the name RCC11, RCC12, RCC13, RCC14. So for every design you want to make, it has its special name. 
so when we start the course properly you will get used to the number okay you get used to the nomenclature of each of each designs all right so in the next video we will begin properly and then we we'll start with rcc 21 where we'll be making an analysis of a frame so we we'll just check one test book maybe oyinoga or um mostly um Bungie or any structural analysis and design software that is well accepted in the society we will take a question from there we will carry out the analysis and then we can compare the analysis with what we will have with this template then from there we can move to the design part so to then watch out for the next video and if you like this video make sure you give it a like if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly give it a subscription thank you for watching